we need to create a constructor a constructor so face and int face num int f1 int f f2 int f3 and uh, that's about it this is uh, called whenever it is a triangle so oh semicolon right here as it will be not a uh, constructor list okay so face num face and okay so i just use it right here so face face is zero equal to f1 i just copy and paste to make everything quicker oh all right that's about it so phase one phase two here two three and yes that's about it and we need to initialize the four to fourth so four equal to four because it is a triangle okay basically we do almost the same thing with the other overloaded constructor which is initialize a quad so only change is we add a f4 and we write the f4 right here so this is three and four and make the four equal to true because this is a quad it has four sides all right that's about it it was pretty simple and straightforward nothing new in here okay so we can create the variables which we will need in uh, so we need a vector to store uh, uh, basically everything so std string i use a pointer because i will uh, dynamically allocate the memory I just call it chord because why not so this will basically store everything as a string not the most memory efficient way but it will be simple to work if it is only it if it is in the memory already so basically we load everything everything as a string okay we need uh, one for the vertex so std vector and this will be the coordinate which we have created up here so yes it will be the coordinate and we call it vertex right we need one for the face so std vector and call it face and call it faces all right we and the last one is for the normal so std vector as i said we can use the coordinate to store a vector as well as a vertex so we just use the coordinate right here and the normal all right then we created the vectors which we will need now we need to open the connection so std uh, if stream because this is the input file stream we want to lo load the file so read in call it in and this will be just simple wait for the file name all right uh, we check that if we so we check that if the file open so if uh, not in dot is open so if the file is not opened then just write something out and exit from this function std count not opened okay so if we cannot open it then we just write out that we cannot open it and the exit from this function with return minus one okay if the, and we check in the main that if it is minus one then it's a problem so and we don't use it okay and now we need to create a buffer which we, uh, which will uh, be uh, 
getting a line so char buff and 255 characters should be more than enough okay and I just read all of the lines from the file so while not in dot f so while we are not at the end of the file we just read in so in dot get line get line will read a line to c with at max 255 ca five character but probably less because there is an end line end of so end of fi uh, line character a at the end of the each line mm. okay and uh, we just put it to the chord so chord dot push back and we create a new string and initialize it with c oh new std string because we don't use std colon colon so we create a new string and uh, and we just uh, put it back to the chord so basically all we do is read all of the lines of the code to the chord uh, vector okay that's about it and now we can move on and actually go through this chord and decide uh, what kind of line is it all right uh, before i forget i put the i put the delete to in here so for int i equals zero i left the chord the size i plus plus and and I just delete the chord I so to avoid memory leaks you should know or, uh, about that from the dynamic memory tutorial okay so in here I just delete everything which we allocated dynamically so I will not forget it okay I use a for loop to go through uh, all of the elements and then we decide uh, so then we decide uh, what line is it so for int i equals zero i less than chord the size i plus plus and in here the fun is start okay so first of all we decide that is it a comment or not so if and we use the indirection operator because we this string or a pointer so first we need to create an actual string from it chord i and zero so if the first character of the line which we are examining is a hash mark then we have nothing to do just continue this is the simplest case okay as if so if it is not true then we write that I if the first character is a character v and the next character is a space if so then we have a vertex so the indirection chord i zero equal to v and the first character uh, so the second character so one equal to a simple space because if we just examine the first then it could be the vector normal because this is vn so we have to examine the first and the second first is a v and the second is a space so if it is both true true then we have a a, vec a vertex so I use a char temp this is because we have to read this uh, letter uh, for the S scanf okay and I use a float tmp x tmp y and tmp z okay these are just temporarily variables as the name shows mm, yes okay and we scan it so i use the s can 
f function for that. Uh, I think we already used this function uh, or not, I'm not really sure. Uh, basically all it does, the first is it is a string, so we just uh, put the chord i uh, c s t r c s t r is basically mean a c style string and then we just uh, put it apart so we set the first equal uh, so we set a uh, how this is look like so percent c mean it starts with a a character then we have a space then we have a float and another float and another float and that's about it this is how the string look like and then we can put uh, variables for every single so for every single variable okay uh, so we use the address of temp the address of te te temp x and the address of temp y okay that's it so basically all we do is set the put the co uh, string here and this is the pattern which the string contains so it ha start with a char then a free float and then we put the uh, char to this tmp the first float to the tmp x the second to the tmp y and the first to the tmp z variable yes okay okay and then just push back to the vertex so vertex dot push back and i push back a new coordinate and with tmp x tmp y and tmp z all right and uh, okay two things left to examine the faces and the normal vectors uh, basically we almost do the same thing so let's do first the normal vector so as if and i just copy it to save a little bit of time so okay so if it is a normal vector then the first letter is f and the next uh, and the next letter is n like vector normal okay here we do the basically the same thing okay first of all we need a temporarily thing uh, with two elements so we have to read the v and an n uh, basically we can avoid it hmm, i think we can avoid it so we don't need that so then we need a float tmpx tmpy and tmpz okay and i just uh, do the same thing so scan it actually okay right that so we just scan it basically it is the same except that we changed the first two uh, to vn like vector normal and actually we can avoid the char here by pressing uh, v in here so we don't uh, give a pattern to it so we uh, don't waste free byte of memory okay so we just read the normal vector coordinates to the tmp x y z and uh, we okay so yes basically all right and then we just push to the normal so normal dot push back and new coordinate and just give the tmp x tmp y and tmp z all right that's about it so basically we do the same thing just with normals the s can f we give the pattern so pattern this so it is a normal so there is a normal vector vn and then three floats uh, uh, next to it and we just read this free floats to the free float variable which we have created and then we push back to the normals uh, vector that's about it 